Welcome back guys to another guide video, Season of Discovery, World of Warcraft Classic. We're going to be looking for the Trap Launcher Rune today. So from my understanding, there is some sort of extinguished campfire up overlooking the graveyard here. Found it. And we click on this. The campsite before you is a grisly scene. Judging by the remains, the victims were two humans and a dwarf. Markings on the bones indicate a savage attack, but the looted supplies tell you this wasn't done by an animal. The wounds don't match centaur weaponry either. Perhaps an experienced scavenger of these lands would know what to make of this. Okay, find someone in Desolus who knows about the pillaged campsite. Alright, that starts the first part of the quest. If anybody is unsure of what the location is, it is this spot right here. It's the perch, just overseeing the Kodo graveyard in Desolus. I'm going to give you guys an idea as to where it is geographically. And there you go. See you guys on the next part. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Now we're at Cormac's Hut in Desolus, which we didn't have to go too far. Just uh, northeast of where we found the uh, the first part of the quest. So right up here. Let's go and talk to Bibli Butts Buckle, I guess. Money, Highway robbery, that's Be the good. thing. Ah, so you found another one. What do you mean by Keep that? Um, on the lamb. Be That's good. the quest. I found a couple of scenes like you describe. Always camps of humans and dwarves. Rumor among the caravans is a group of horde marauders did it. Seems likely given the victims and how brutal the attacks were. Apparently the bandits fled Desolus once an alliance marshal got hot on their trail. If you mother hey Yo Have a good one If you're looking to track one of them down I check in a port town Those always have shady characters coming and going might catch one trying to get a boat to somewhere Be good for sitting on a gold mine hmm. I tell you a okay. gold mine Kodo gold okay. will change the world forever Customers making furniture, do we want to do this and run all the way back there? There's a caravan. No, we don't. So we're going to hearth to Splinter Tree, where my hearth is. And we're going to go to do the next part. Okay, we are in Booty Bay for the next part of the quest. We have to go to an inn, right? The inn, where's the inn? It's over here, correct? Port, the old port authority. Haha, <laughs> port authority. I get it. Um, someone in here I'm supposed to be speaking to. Unless this is not the inn. Oh, come on, man. I really hope that. I don't have to worry about being attacked in here. Cause the Blood Moon event just started. Shite. Where's the inn? Okay. <laughs> Come back to this. Okay, let's try this again. Um, we're in Booty Bay. Yeah, that's what you get, whore. That's what you get. Ha 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 Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted by the freaking Blood Moon event. Um, so the inn is on this side of Booty Bay. I didn't realize this is where it was. Well, can't really see it on the map, but... It's over here. Alright, so... Anyway, um, we go inside the inn and we talk to Tokal. Let's see what she has to say. You with the marshal? 
No, you don't look like it. The rumors you've heard are only half true. Yes, we were pillaging human and dwarven camps, but we weren't doing it for the horde. We were privately employed. I'll tell you the whole story if you buy me some grog. Okay. So, I'm assuming I'm going to have to buy her some grog then. Um... Do you sell the grog? Okay, yes. Cherry grog. Have a good one. Alright. Okay. I bought you a drink. Now talk. Our boss wasn't the horde. She was a night elf named Ilari Duskfeather. She gave us intel on the camps and even let us keep most of the loot. She only kept a few of the rare finds. Once the marshal was on our tail, though she left us for dead <laughs> i don't know her motives but i think we're set up as patsies i think we were set up as patsies i'm not the vengeful type but i won't stop someone else from hunting her down if you're looking for her she once mentioned a hideout somewhere near arathi okay so we got to go Ara to arathi basin then or arathi highlands all right, see you in Harathi. They're just so silly. They're just so damn silly. Oh, she's so lucky I didn't get that emote off in time. Anyway, see you in the next part, guys. All right, guys, we finally made it. We made it to the last part of the... Um, okay, what's this? I don't know. We made it to the last part of the <laughs> the trap launcher video. I'm sorry. I got distracted there for a second. I'm supposed to be going somewhere, but I'm not sure where this is. It's I'm supposed to be looking for a boat under the bridge. Now, I'm assuming that the boat is probably under one of these bridges. This would seem like the more the, the more likelihood bridge, right? So let's just go. Under the bridge, there is a boat. All right, guys. Here is the last part of the Trap Launcher Rune video. It's been a long journey. Uh, I spent a lot of time swimming around out here trying to figure out where this thing is that I'm supposed to be finding and I found it it's right here it's the rowboat um, yeah, I was swimming all over there under the bridge and everything looking for it and I <laughs> I couldn't find it until I swam all the way out here all right let's see where what is this place it's like a farm um, are you here miss lady hello hello is this where she spawns let's find out I'm asking if the lady spawns here he says yep yeah. okay so the the NPC I'm supposed to be interacting spawns on this dock Gets to fighting, ho. It's time to meet your maker. Did you just run away? Key. Okay, okay. Give me that key, please. And then I'm supposed to loot this chest over here. Oh, 
Alright. Got our jeweled encrusted box. Okay. Stop it. You stop it. Alright. Let's open it up. And we got our Rune of the Trapper. Yes. What do you, what are you doing? Give it to me. Okay, I'm going to try to log out and log back in. But this is how you get your trap launcher rune, everyone. Hopefully yours doesn't glitch out like mine just did. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching the video, supporting the channel. It means so much to me. Um, it felt good to finally finish this rune guide series. I hope these videos were helpful to everyone and they were able to find their runes without any problems and I will see you guys in a future video uh, don't forget to please like subscribe and hit that notification button so when I make another video you guys are notified um, but yeah that's it that's it and that's all folks and I'll see you on the next one